This month on the Lethbridge Photography Club News. What's new at London Drugs? A look at the new Nikon full-frame camera. Some new ways to frame a print. And a look back to the field trip to Coyote Flats and the Prairie Tractor Museum. The long-awaited Nikon D5 has just been released. The biggest features are the ISO capabilities, the number of focus points, and the high-speed performance. Here's a look at Nikon's promotional video. With a price tag of $8,499 Canadian, this camera is probably aimed at mostly the professional market. Now here's what's new at London Drugs. Hi everybody, it's Jason from London Drugs Cameras and Electronic Department. Uh, just to want to highlight a couple items for you today. So the first item is the Canon Connect Station. And what it is, is a uh, one terabyte hard drive that uh, hooks up to your TV via HDMI allows you to store your images on there, as well as allows you to access the images via the web, because this will also plug into your network. It's Wi-Fi, and if you have an NFC Canon camera, it'll wirelessly uh, touch the camera to the unit, and it'll wirelessly download only the new images that you've taken. The price on it right now is $249.99. Uh, the next item is the Sony RX100 Mark IV, which is the latest of the RX100 line. It's a 20 megapixel, one inch sensor. Uh, and one of the big differences they've done with this one is it'll also do 4K video. Uh, fully featured small camera, uh, pocket size, but still gives you a lot of functionality with a really good size sensor. 2.9 times optical zoom, ISO sensitivity up to 25,600. As well at London Drugs, we also like to make sure that we've got you covered for everything that you need. Uh, we do have a pretty good selection of lenses, but we also are able to special order a lot of the big lenses that people are looking for via Canon, Nikon, Sonys. Uh, a lot of times they're in our warehouse and we're only looking at about a four day turnaround time. So if you have questions or a lens that you're looking for, come in and see us. We can get your pricing and how long it'll take to get. There are always a lot of choices for framing a picture. We went down to wall decor and more to see what's new in framing. Hi, I'm Scott Warnock. I own Wall Decor and More. Uh, we're a custom picture framing shop. We've been here for about 12 years. Um, in that time, we've uh, framed everything from photography and paintings to uh, basically dental tools, branding irons, pretty much anything you can think of, memorabilia, jerseys. Uh, we've got over a thousand frame samples on the wall for different options that we can use. Uh, we also work with some of the local artists and photographers with offering their work for sale through here, either original pieces or pieces that are printed in house. We have a, a print by Ron Brown from the original oil painting. Uh, he's uh, fairly well known for his wild horse paintings. He's, he was a farrier, so he knows the horse very well. Uh, this one is called Maximus. We frame this one in an Italian frame and the print was actually done in-house. Uh, beside it, we have a print by Stuart Peterson. He's a local photographer, and we've stretched and framed that one with a floater frame. Okay. Alan Wells is another local artist that we use that uh, has done the 
painting on the bottom there called End of the Trail. That is a print from his original. The uh, original was uh, 30 inch square on oil. For frames, we have a huge variety. Uh, the companies keep bringing out new samples, new ideas, new theories. The very traditional kind of uh, rustic look for shabby chic, that's been popular for a long time. Some of the newer ones are actually made from seashells or uh, covered in stainless steel. We also have, of course, metal frames, um, frames for the uh, larger pieces as well as right down to the smaller pieces. One of the unique pieces that we have in-house right now is a, an Iron Man figure that we picked up that we have the comic in the back in a uh, plastic sleeve and we have the comic copied onto the mat and used as part of it and then the whole thing is lit. We've also recently expanded into custom printing, so we can print on canvas, photo paper, uh, also on backlit paper. So this is an example of a backlit that we've done, that we have done up with a remote control. So it was printed in-house and the box actually opens so that a new image can be flipped in uh, with very little uh, time. About two years ago, we decided that a nice fit for our framing store would be to do custom printing. So we custom print on canvas or photo paper on the backlit as the box here is, uh, or on watercolor paper. All of our canvas prints are laminated with a, uh, a UV blocking laminate, so they are very durable, can actually be washed off if the person needs to. And we've printed on canvas up to uh, 10 feet by 44 inches. So printed and stretched in-house. A few other unique pieces that we've done framing or shadow boxes for. Uh, this Stark multimeter is uh, basically used for testing ohms, amps, resistance, that sort of thing. We've also got a clarinet that's been framed as well as uh, some warm memorabilia. These are a couple more examples of light boxes that we've done in-house. Uh, these pieces are both done by Aaron Keeling. He's a photographer that took the pictures. The uh, Prince of Wales Hotel is on a remote. It does have a dimmer, so you can dim it down for uh, sort of background ambiance or brighten it up for, for viewing during the daylight. The other piece is uh, the Prairie Sunset that seemed like an excellent candidate for a light box. To check out some of the projects that we've done that we have in-house, come down and see us at 30910 Street South and see what we can do for your project. We didn't have a field trip this month, but here's a look back to the trip to Coyote Flats in the Prairie Tractor Museum. And that's the Lethbridge Photography Club news for this month.